I will just give you a bit about JSON decoding from a web service. JSON is another web service format that is simpler than XML apparently and smaller because you may save a lot of spaces and so it's also commonly used in web services. Decoding is basically more a serialization mechanism than uh, in XML but once again you can also do serialization in XML but um, you can use JSON as a way to represent an object uh, in a string so that you can transport it. The goal of this video in that sense is just to give you a minimum survival guide. Okay, it will work with a simple uh, JSON files. If you have lots of structured JSON then you probably have to go a bit further in the fantastic manual. But you can decode lots of things already with this. There is a conversion mechanism between JSON and object. Okay, so if you have a data or NS data, which is a JSON flow, you can convert it into a any question mark. Question mark because it's an optional, since if there is a problem, you get nil. Okay, so uh, you really have, if you get an any, to do yourself the cast into what you want to have. Okay, so you have this function which is a class function from uh, JSON serialization uh, which is JSON object with data and then you have some options and if there is a problem of course it also throws an exception and conversely you can have a, a any question mark into a JSON stream with the, this method okay and in both cases, once again, errors are handled by means of exception. And you can pass some options that will give you information about encoding, etc, etc. Have a look at the fantastic manual for more information. Let's have a small example, a very, very small example that was uh, more or less running in uh, the uh, playground, uh, the Swift playground. So here I have uh, my uh, method that does JSON to dictionary. So I have a sort of JSON file, okay, and I want to transform it in a dictionary that is a couple k value. Okay, so here I'm using JSON serialization, JSON object. Of course, I put it into a try because it can raise an expression, an exception, and it is uh, protected by a do catch. Okay, and here I use this data. I have converted my string here into uh, data and I say that since I get this any question mark I want this any to be a dictionary or string and anything. Okay so the key is a string but the rest is what you can do. Okay and of course uh, in the situation for a given k I know what type of value I can have. If I'm pretty sure that anything I have in my JSON fragment is couple string string then I can restrict to string string okay. Here I have a function that display a dictionary okay and I'm expected to uh, find in this dictionary a key name, a key address num, a key address street okay and here I'm exploiting these two functions. So this is a portion of JSON okay with a name, an address num, an address street okay. I transform it into a dictionary okay and I display this dictionary. Here is a second JSON stream okay. Here I just forgot to specify address num okay. So I can expect so probably something that is nil. Okay, and here I have a third example where my uh, JSON is not well formed. Okay, so let's have a look on how it goes. Okay, unsurprisingly here I just have the three fields name, num and street available. In the second case I'm not surprised because I didn't specify any number of street okay then I just have a nil okay 
And here, there was an error, okay, that in fact was uh, catched in uh, the do catch, okay. So my dictionary is empty, and of course, I cannot retrieve anything from my dictionary. Okay, so here, when you have a simple JSON structure, it's very easy because you can do this conversion into uh, this uh, mapping dictionary, etc., etc. If you have a more complex structure, then you have to declare this complex structure. You can also uh, do some association with uh, JSON decoder and JSON encoder, okay? And in fact, you need it to have a precise mapping on a real Swift object or to or from a real Swift object. And to do so, I encourage you to have a look at the Fantastic Manual. You can also use serialization, but not the serialization of JSON, but a serialization that is embedded in an object. And this will be presented in a further video. Thank you for your attention. See you later.